news, signs, symbols, TV. Hello, hello. God bless you. Thank you for checking in. Tuning in one more time. Um, I'm a little bit excited right now about this video. It's a long time coming because when I was going through what I was going through, I would have liked this content for sure because the situation I went through was um, basically just me and God, me and, me and Jesus, me and the Holy Spirit. And learning about deliverance, learning about demons, learning about our inner world and how true and real when God Jesus the Holy Spirit through the Bible says that the kingdom of God is within us is very accurate and very true and this is one thing that I've learned and with so much experience Matthew 23 26 thou blind Pharisee cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter that the outside of them may be clean also Today, the majority of the Western Church completely rejects meditation and the temple within and preaches against Eastern philosophy and wisdom, proclaiming that it's false, demonic, and new age. Scripture says the deep calls unto the deep. Now how far are you willing to go to find God? Psalms 46.10 Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalms 43.9 My mouth will speak words of wisdom. The meditation of my heart will give you understanding. So, I think belief can only take us so far. And then we have to mature and we have to experience for ourselves. Scripture even says, taste and see that the Lord is good. So this is a relationship, a tangible relationship we are to have and experience and encounter that heals us and frees us from our bondage and frees our mind. So this video is about deliverance, demons, and even more so about awakening and the power of the Holy Spirit. I would have, like I said, I would have liked this kind of content when I was going through what I was going through because uh, because it's very lonely. And at the same time, we're just filled with a lot of questions and then being introduced to a whole nother world, a whole nother realm of existence. Because literally existence just opened up a whole new door. When we find out about casting out demons, and what's going on behind the scenes. Luke 1 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Stay with it. You don't need to water it down. No one else has the same story. Stay with it, please Stay with it, please You can't take all the time you need I know that you are me. When we single thine eye, meditate and raise our vibration, change our frequency, and align our walk in the flesh to be more attuned to spirit, we then become prime candidates for spiritual encounters such as deliverances and divine downloads. As we ascend the seven days of creation within, we are transformed by the renewing of our minds. This is the holy science and the laws of mind. Deliverance may happen at any time, even in a dream. And once we've encountered the true power of God, a powerless gospel and religion won't work for us anymore because we now know the truth. John 3.14 And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. The secret place every day equals 101.
the Bible is an allegory equals 101. Losing my religion equals 101. So I was continually seeing repeating numbers, time prompts, synchronicity. And I started attending a church and I had a meeting with the pastor. I told him what was happening in my life. And, and I remember him telling me that the Bible was written a long time before it was numbered. So it seemed to not have any significance to him that, that God could be using these numbers to communicate to us. But what I found to be true is that the Bible is littered with numbers. And he even named one of the gospels Matthew. Math, you, Luke, 12, seven. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. So as I know, many people will have a hard time making the connections such as the one with Matthew, Methuselah, or even the Gematria because of the natural mind's apprehension to spiritual revelation. 1 Corinthians 2, 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. To Timothy 2.20 But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. 2 Timothy 2.21 If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Now I think real revelation begins when real deliverance takes place when real experience happens in our lives, when real hunger meets real action that brings forth real change. Glory to God, praise God. One Corinthians three, one. And I brethren could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. So we want to be subject to the spirit. We want to be disciplined. We want to have our ears open and we don't want to be held back. So this is the documentary, our life soundtrack and journal into self mastery, overcoming the flesh while we decode, hack, and navigate ourselves through this matrix of the mind, developing as mature sons of Christ, not only reading about God in theory, but knowing God through direct relationship and experience. The Bible and word of God is great, but we are not to be book worshipers. So eventually we want to move on and go beyond only knowing God in his word and in theory. We want to mature and manifest his presence, his essence, his spirit, breaking every yoke of oppression, failure, setback, and delay, destroying the works of the enemy and of the flesh, and all illusions that keep us blind and captive. And what I noticed when we actually do go deep into our walk and relationship with God, it doesn't look like regular worldly churchianity. It looks like being outcasted, rejected, shunned, and looked at even weird. James 4, 8. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So I don't think any of us like to be called dirty or double-minded or sinners. But if we truly look in the mirror and we recognize our ignorance to spiritual things, we want to be in a posture, in a place to receive, in a state, frequency, vibration, open to spirit that God wants to work with us.